Welcome back to Grump's Barn, where today I have an announcement to make. Before I make that though, just to let you know, the Defender is temporarily off the road. Yeah, I'd sorted out the vibration. I was taking it down the road for a test run, no vibration at all. Then it suddenly started vibrating from the rear. Only that vibration I recognised straight away. Pulled it back, had a look underneath, and yep, one of the rear UJs has gone. Now, whether that's one of the fucking brand new ones I put on there, or whether it's the one, because I'm sure there was one on the back that was actually fine before, nowhere at all, apparently. The whole bloody cup on it was cracking too. So, as I say, I don't know if that's a new one that was dodgy. Or an old one that's just worn out. It just happens to have gone at this bloody time. So that's another job i got to do, but I won't bother filming that. <coughs> Excuse me. I won't bother filming that because you've seen all that before anyway. And I still have a little bit of work to do on the old freeloader. Yeah, still got a bit of problem CV-wise with that. Putting the grease in and whatever, you just uh, calmed it down for a bit. It's still making the noise, so I'm going to go around it uh, thoroughly. Check it all out, and I reckon I'm going to need a new drive shaft on there, but I might, I'll probably film that just for the hell of it. We shall see. But anyway, on to little announcement. This is just a short video, just to announce what I'm doing next. And it's going to be a long project. And I'm sitting in it. Yep, this thing. This old thing, sort of crap as you can see at the moment. Oops, got my own hand instead. Yes, this old thing. <coughs> it's oh, it's wonderful, wonderful car. As you can see, when you open the door, it falls off. It's <laughs> good as. <laughs> Let's get out. So you can see it in all its glory, but it's hanging off door. There you go, look at that. Right, now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, he's going to do up a disco. Uh, excuse me. Oh, pull the door up in case it rains, because it's been raining quite a lot. Uh, right, you're thinking he's doing up a disco. <sighs> I'm going to get it back on the road and whatever. Well, sort of. Oop, over it. That's it. That's it. I'm here. Right. Bloody camera. Doesn't like filming me anymore. Yep, I'm going to do it up. But it's not going to be a normal disco. This, as far as I can tell, after searching all over the internet for days, will be a one of a kind. Because I'm going to trike it. Yep, you heard. I'm going to turn this discovery into a trike. Because <coughs> for years I've had bikes and trikes. Build my own. Along with a bit of help from other people who are better at uh, fabrication work than I was. Because the last one I built, well, I mean, a long while back now, 20 odd years ago. I was only just starting to learn to weld then. Now ignore the um, crappy fucking spattered welds that I <laughs> did on that um, Defender one. I was just putting that bit in the foot well. That was just a quick let's get it done. This is going to be structural stuff so it will be welded properly. I promise you that. Because it's my life on the line. And my wife's as well. Once it's built. So yes. As soon as I've sorted out these two motors. Which won't take long. I've got a couple of bits to do on the Defender. Because it needs it to air MOT soon. I've got a slight problem with the steering as well. It's on stiff as fuck. It looks like the power steering pump's failed. I haven't checked on that yet. Uh, I will sort that out quickly. 
But if it does need a new pump, I've got a new one on the shelf here, so I'll whack that on. Sort out anything else, get it through its MOT. And I've got the, as I say, freeloader and his uh, probably new drive shaft. Um, yeah, then I'll show this will be going into barn. Still drives. Oh, it did when I left it here. <laughs> so I should be driving this in there and ripping it apart completely, taking off all the bodywork. And first job will be to uh, go all over the chassis, see what sort of how see how much chassis we got left on it. Repair any bits I'm going to keep of the chassis. Decide whether I'm going to chop it down or not because I will probably shorten the length. Um, I will be making some nice leading link forks probably for it. Our box section, heavy duty box section. So we're talking about probably five mil thick, fifty by fifties or thereabouts for the uh, main girders on it. I'm thinking about making the um, <coughs> excuse me, the steering stem and that out of a out of a drive shaft. See, that's nice and thick. If I can work out a way of doing that, then I can use wheel bearings as the uh, top and bottom uh, bearings between the yokes. The yokes will be made of like half inch thick steel, so 12 inch, 12 mil, 12 13 mil, something like that. It's going to be pretty hefty construction. Oh, and Mrs. Grump has very kindly said that if I want anything off her old jag, I can use bits of that, like if I fancy having uh, two dirty, great, uh, <laughs> very posh leather seats for it, I can take them out of the jag. And it's got some nice round headlights as well that I might be stealing for the headlights for it. Oh yeah, it's going to be a fun project. It's going to take a while, obviously. But I, uh, I hope you'll join me uh, for the ride. It should be a laugh. And at the end of it, I'll have the world's only Land Rover trike. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen any anywhere. Uh, I've looked everywhere. The only thing I saw that came a little bit close was someone had taken an old series motor and sort of put one wheel on the front and very badly. And it didn't look much. It didn't look right either. Now this is going to uh, it'll look like a proper trike. But exactly what it's going to look like. I won't have a bloody clue until I've stripped down all the bodywork and had a damn good look at the chassis and worked out exactly what I can use and what I don't need to use and where I can take bits off and shorten it and bring it in and out and whatever. But yeah, it's going to be fun. And different. As uh, I say, if it's not the world's only Land Rover trike, it'll be one of only a couple. And it'll be definitely the world's only 200 TDI powered disco trike. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you'll join me for it. Let me know what you think. It's going to happen anyway, but it'd be nice to know what other people think. Whether they think you think I'm totally fucking mad. Well, I know that anyway. Or whether you think it's a damn good idea. Or do you think, ah, oh, what is he doing? Yeah, let me know. <laughs> anyway. Take care, people, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.